for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Kelly Swoop. Jamie has the evening off. Harbor Place in downtown Baltimore is getting a new lease on life. A local developer has agreed to buy the struggling waterfront property. WMER 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us now in studio tonight. So, Ray, the developer says it wants to uh, reinvent and reimagine Harbor Place. Yes, Kelly, and even though we don't know the plans just yet, the developer MCP Real Estate is giving us some insight on what we could expect moving forward. The company says it wants to turn Harbor Place into a modern gathering location that is all inspiring and authentically Baltimore. We spoke to people about what they want to see happen, and many want the developer to have a focus on locally owned businesses. I remember when it opened up. Art Adassi reflects on a time when Harbor Place was the place to be. It was new. It was new and exciting. A tourist attraction that first opened in 1980. It was a one-of-a-kind waterfront mall with restaurants and shopping. It was also a development project other cities emulated. But for the past few years, it's been struggling. And Adassi can't help but notice. I walked through recently and it was like a ghost town. There wasn't anything going on. Now major changes could soon be coming to Harbor Place. Baltimore-based developer MCB Real Estate has agreed to buy it with plans to reinvent and reimagine the waterfront property. I think that's great. I have a special announcement. Mayor Brandon Scott called it a new chapter for Harbor Place. Bringing Baltimore vision, Baltimore community investment, and Baltimore style to transform Harbor Place into a landmark destination where residents can go to enjoy the best that we have to offer. Thriving small businesses, green space, and cultural venues. Scott also acknowledged the decline of Harbor Place, saying it hasn't lived up to its reputation. It's been in receivership since 2019, but the issues were made worse during the pandemic, causing many businesses to pack up and leave. Yeah, I think it's got a lot of potential. It's really nice. It's a beautiful view, as we can all see, and just... I mean, it's, it's unfortunate we got some empty spaces around here. But. The exact plans to revitalize Harbor Place have yet to be released, but Alex Osborne hopes it captures the city's culture while showcasing Baltimore businesses. I think it's a lot of locally owned businesses would be, uh, you know, it's like promote that in this area so you can give them more of that Baltimore feel. And the deal to buy Harbor Place still needs to be approved by the court, but that is expected to happen. And once it does, the developer will begin the planning and design process. And we're told residents here in Baltimore will be a part of it. Kelly. All right. Thanks a lot, Ray. And we posted it on Facebook tonight to find out what you'd like to see at Harbor Place. And a lot of folks mentioned our local businesses. Somebody said the Charmery. Somebody said a pure raw juice. But a lot of folks express concerns about security and safety, and they hope those are addressed as well. If you'd like to chime in. What you'd like to see come to Harbor Place, head to our Facebook page, WMR2 News, and chime in on the conversation.